something is happening that you really have to know about because it's going to dictate what happens with RTX 4000 pricing. That's going to be what a lot of people are looking towards. Right now, the GPU market is in free fall. Prices are falling. Availability is high. You can basically find whatever GPU that you want for the most part, but there's really something that you should know in regards to what NVIDIA's strategy and their plan is going to be. First, prices have fallen really sharp, and it would seem like they're going to keep going down forever, but I'm going to stop you right there. It looks like they're kind of stagnant right now. The prices have not dropped really that much more than from that initial drop. Primarily, that's because they were so high to begin with. Look at something like a 3080 Ti Strix over $2,000 at one point, even at early on in the year. Right now, you can probably get that GPU for well under $1,200. Of course, nobody's buying that because we think that RTX 4000 is going to come and it's going to eclipse the 3000 series in terms of performance and just in terms of you know technological grunt in general now while that may be true there are definitely various downsides including price that we're going to talk about that's going to be the primary one priced pretty good is a windows cd key today's video sponsor is going to be vip-cdkdeals.com very simple process you can get a windows 10 pro cd key and remember to use code cc20 for a nice discount the other downsides of rtx 4000 are pretty obvious i mean there are leaks and rumors that the 4090 ti which presumably would be the biggest and fastest gpu of that next generation is being prepared to go up as high as maybe 600 watts which is pretty insane we can expect a 30 uh, 4090 rather to be similar to the 3090 ti at 450 watts that's not terrible even though it's really really high it's going to depend how well it performs but 600 watts that starts to get beyond the point of really something reasonable that's going to be definitely for certain enthusiasts and testing only because 600 watts is insane 1000 1200 maybe even 1500 watt power supply depending what type of cpu that you're going to pair it with so that's a whole other problem let's talk about pricing right now the market got a little bit stagnant on the second hand market of course you can find much cheaper prices because people are letting go of their gpus for whatever reason the market crashing and the, you know the cryptocurrency demand is down market is being flooded by gpus prices going down that's happening but if you look at retailers while prices went down pretty sharply the last few months they've reached sort of their bottom point in a lot of cases it's going to be right at the original msrp of rtx 3000 sometimes maybe a hundred dollars over like for example a 3080 instead of 699 founders edition which you can still find now but it's a little bit tricky at times because it's only available at best buy you may find a third party one for 799 which is a hundred dollars more than that original msrp but the problem here is these gpus are basically two years old at this point and even though that's close to msrp like we wanted before it's a little bit too late in the game with rtx 4000 coming out but i don't think nvidia really plans to lower these prices any further we can see by their actions and maybe stop the, you know yesterday we talked about stopping the production of rtx 3080 12 gigabyte because that one was supposed to be over 1200 when it was first released but of course course that that doesn't make any sense now with the 3080 ti going down in price really heavily and the 3090 going down in price pretty heavily in some cases under the price of a 3080 12 gigabyte what it used to cost anyway so with the 3080 10 gigabyte around 699 to 799 that gpu just got pretty much smushed and nvidia instead of lowering prices they decided to outright cancel and not send that gpu to their third-party aib partners anymore or at least that's what we've heard you know supposedly so that shows you that nvidia will stop production and halt gpus instead of lowering prices why to keep rtx 4000 prices high they do not want to release an rtx 4080 at the same price 699 at you know the 3080 ideally if the market is okay they rather release it at the price that they did the 3080 12 gigabyte which is over 1200 that's pretty much proof that's what they released through the third party aibs over 1200 for a 3080 you don't think if they could they would do the same to a 4080 which is a newer generation going to be probably much faster just a much beefier technology of course they would do that the main issue now is that prices drop so sharply they have to artificially keep them down probably really slow down production and i don't think a 4080 at over 1200 is really going to fly they're probably going to have to come in closer to the original msrp of uh, rtx 3000 now let's take the 3080 as sort of the midpoint because that's the most reasonable one um, it's not a 3060 
Ti, which is the cheapest. It's not the big 3090, which is a little too expensive with a 3090 Ti. It fits kind of right in the middle. 699, we can agree that was a great price on release for the 3080. 1299, we can agree was a terrible price for the 3080 12 gigabyte. So we're gonna have to find a happy medium somewhere in between that pricing structure. Of course, it's gonna be dictated by the market, but I think most likely the minimum we're gonna see in RTX 4080 is probably 799, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was 899 or 999. And that's the we're talking about the founders edition. You can expect the third party AIBs to be pretty close to what some of the 3080s are now, if not higher. That is over a thousand dollars. Even though they're not selling, I don't think Nvidia is going to release that GPU any cheaper. They probably really regretted the 3080 being 699 when scalpers were selling them for two thousand dollars for most of 2021. You can see why there was a really big price disparity between the actual supply of the product and demand. So they're probably going to err in the opposite direction this time, and they're going to go probably you know correct the path a little bit too hard and make it sort of much more expensive and they'd probably rather sell less of them than have them really cheap and not be able to keep up with production and just lose out on that profit at least that's what it looks like they're going to be doing so what does that mean for you now i would say still keep waiting it's very unpredictable what's going to happen the only way i would buy a gpu now likely would be a used secondhand market gpu that i say time and time again as long as you get a good one that's where you're going to get the biggest discount on these gpus retailers just are not moving rtx 4000 in my opinion is going to be way too expensive even if the market doesn't make sense i think nvidia is still going to keep it expensive that way they can sell the massive amount of stock of rtx 3000 that's piling up right now and they can sort of maintain that pricing structure and not make it seem like it's getting cheaper or anything like that and devaluing sort of the price structure of their products that's what i think so you guys can expect and us as the consumer to have pretty much higher prices than normal going forward for GPUs. Even though the market is going down now, it seems counterintuitive, but I don't think NVIDIA is going to give in and give us cheap GPUs just because a lot of RTX 3000 is available. On the contrary, I think they're going to keep those exclusive, maybe make them like a paper launch, and certainly keep the price pretty high, higher than the level of RTX 3000. And we're going to talk more about this as we get closer and get more information. So remember to stay subscribed for more, and I'll see you guys on the next video.